In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a small fishing boat in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more ship tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full playlist. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So guys, this one is eight blocks long in total, five wide, and that is because of the square rigged mast. So the actual uh, body of it, the actual hull is three blocks wide, just so that you guys know, so it just sticks over. So bear that in mind if you're building it in harbors and docks and things like that. Um, and it's also eight blocks high, though usually with ships it doesn't really matter that much, and this one is pretty dinky. So materials that you're gonna need, and again, mix and match these up. Always mix and match them up. If you want to do something different, go for it. Um, but you're going to need an oak slab, oak stair, stone slab, spruce fence, spruce fence gate, white wool, barrel, and a cobweb. Those are your materials. So nice and simple. In terms of where you're going to be building this one underneath the water, well, it's just the slab. The first slab that we've got here, that is going to be, if this white block is your water, that's going to be on the upper piece of that water block. Um, so yeah, it's not really, <laughs> it's not that deep into the water at all. Um, I have built a nice little box for this one. Again, that is eight blocks long and five wide. And that just means that if you did build this and you wanted it to fit exactly, including the bits that are hanging over, then you can do. But anyway, right on the front, we're going to place a block. You're going to need this uh, regardless of if you're doing it in a box or not. Uh, and you're going to need six slabs right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to place a block on top of the uh, kind of front piece here. And we're going to have a upside down oak stair there. And an oak stair on the side there. So you can just see this little, little gap going on there. Then we're going to just drag your stairs all the way to the back here. Do the same on the other side as well. So stair there. Get your stairs going all the way right to the back like that. Then we can get rid of that block and we can actually put in an oak slab. Right on the back as well, we're going to have an upside down stair. So that's what you're going to have right on there like that. And we're going to put an oak slab right in the back of this bit. So we get that nice boat shape. It's really difficult to do when it's this small, but that's the kind of typical uh, kind of curve shape going on. So we have your stone slabs, and this is just to add some color into the whole thing. Uh, right on the front, you can have a stone slab, and then three on the sides. And then also on the back, you're just going to have one on the back, and then one either side of that, like that. So again, switch switch it all up. It's not actual stone. Don't think of it as stone. Think about it as a colored kind of, you know, painted wood or, or something like that. So guys, what we're going to do now is with our spruce fence, we're going to go up with a total of seven. So one, two three, four, five, six, and seven. And then with our spruce fence gate, either side of this, and use the sneak and click for this one. So sneak to be able to do that. If not, you can always build up underneath it and then place it directly on top of that. But if you don't do that, of course, you will then get, uh, when you press it, oh no, you can't, you don't have to do that at all. I'm completely mad. Maybe it's changed. Um, but anyway, go to, go to either side of that. <laughs> It's like a sudden revelation and telling you guys to do something you don't need to do all the time. Um, but anyway, that will give you the base mast for it. We're going for square rigged on this one. And all I did really for mine is I just had a couple bits on the side and a couple bits underneath to have it tied up. So that's it when it's at, you know, completely tied up. Uh, if you want to have it where it's going out, you can have them going off the front here. Going down, you know, something like this and then back in again. And I'll make this look a lot better in a second, don't worry. So, you know, really simple kind of looking one there. Uh, but then we can like, you know, put in or punch in the sides here and go off to the side with some bits like this. And do similar things down here as well. You know, we can do lots of little things like that. Let's move out this bit. Probably also smooth out that bit and even there as well. And then do similar things down here. There we go, and probably do something actually like that. There we go. So if you wanted to have, you know, your actual sail being kind of pinned back or anything like that, that's what you can kind of go with and have something similar to that if you want. Do something there. Or yeah, probably have it there. Yeah, 
detail I'll do. So that's the kind of things that you can do with it. Um, so in terms of the details, well, all I did with mine is I grabbed myself um, a barrel and I plonked that in. So that's where to catch to, to get all the fish and when you catch them, put them in there. And then put some cobwebs around, really. So the cobwebs are your nets. And that's the thing to remember. So lots of fishing nets. So you, they can then sail on out, um, put, you know, and then put the, cast the nets, get the fish, put them in a barrel, and then bring them back to sell them at the market. Um, but that is it, guys, for this tutorial. Make sure to uh, press that subscribe button if you liked the video as well. Make sure to put a like, comment, uh, subscribe, and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Later.